this one is really, really hard. I think the last time I tried to do this book of challenges, I skipped this one. Giving true, genuine compliments. Here's where I struggle with this one. I film, I film all of this stuff. How do I walk up to someone, give them a compliment, and then stick the camera in? It doesn't feel natural. And being someone who doesn't like compliments, and I kind of push them away, it just feels funny giving them to somebody else. But we're gonna try. I have 10 people, I'm going to call them all, not tell them I'm recording, and give them a compliment. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> I'm really nervous about it. All right, so let's do this. Ah! Hey. Hey. I don't do any drugs, but this is going to sound really weird. You don't do any drugs, but this is going to sound any really weird. Is yeah. that what you just said? Yep. Okay, that sounds like an awesome beginning. <laughs> so, I've been thinking a lot about people who've had the biggest positive impact on my life. Yep. So I'm calling you because you've made the list. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. I I apologize for that. I would hope better for you. No, it's no, it's good. <laughs> I did karate for so long, and you were always that mentor and taught me how to coach and teach. And now I'm pretty much doing it for a living, and you started me on that road. Like I said, I don't do drugs, but just wanted to say thanks. <laughs> you just needed to get that off your chest. Yeah, I just needed well, I to. I applaud you for doing that because. I think about doing that all the time, but I never have the balls to do it. <laughs> so the book kind of talks about how when some people try and give people compliments, they get very critical. I didn't experience that at all, but that's something to be aware of. I felt like I wasn't saying enough. <laughs> how, how do I compliment more? Uh, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. This is gonna sound really weird and out of the blue. I just wanted to say thank you for uh, like always being there through the depression. The good, let's just say the ups and the downs, you really haven't changed. It kind of hit me today. So you're awesome and thank you for being that person. Aw, I'm gonna have some fun someday. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> The weirdest part for me, which I totally get it, where people were, the people I talked to were just like stopping their compliments. You know, Lars was the best example of that. He immediately stopped it and turned it about me. Thinking about uh, a lot about people who've had the most, the biggest impact, the most biggest positive impact on my life, and uh, that's why I'm calling you. I, I like. Yeah, definitely. And you were you were next on that list for sure. <laughs> I'm one of those people too. I I feel funny getting compliments. But where does that come from? Like why do we feel funny receiving compliments? I kind of realize that I'm calling everyone probably while they're at work. If they don't pick up the phone, I will just leave a message. Hi, you're Rich Sam's phone. Hi, this is Nolan Berg. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Stop. This is gonna sound really strange, but when I was in the hospital they talked about this a little bit, about um, giving and receiving compliments. They had to teach all of us how to receive a compliment because all of us never felt deserving of a compliment. Like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not that good. Or I didn't do that well of a job. So we had to learn just to say, thank you. Why did that happen? How, how did we get to that point? And that's always in my head every time I receive a compliment that they're just trying to open up and be vulnerable and by me sl sliding that door back shut, it kills that vulnerability. And vulnerability is a super positive thing. It builds connections between people. Brad! Sure. That That's all I wanted to call for. Just pretty much say you're awesome. Sweet, Brad. That was Brad. He's one of my best friends. There's this really cool lady that, uh, she has a really great TED talk. I'll link it in the description below, but her name's Brene Brown. And she talks about vulnerability and how important it is and that uh, most people are trying to figure out how to not be vulnerable and that they think it's a negative thing when really it's the, it's the most important thing that you have. And that's how I felt with this whole challenge today was if 
felt very, very vulnerable. Why, why is my, why is my heart like, I feel like the Grinch kind of just, my heart's growing. Like the vulnerability is what's the hardest part for me. It feels good though. It feels good to be vulnerable. I feel lighter. By being vulnerable, it opened up, it opened up this connection to have with, even a deeper connection that I already have with these people I called. It's, it's funny how you give someone a compliment and they, I don't know if they feel like they have to give you one back or if you just finally um, opened up a door for them to share how they feel about you. So they recommend complimenting something about something that touched you versus some something impermanent like their hair. So telling someone they have nice hair or that they're pretty or that they're good looking, that changes. Eventually they're gonna be old and their hair is gonna fall out and they won't look like that anymore. They have zero control over that. But people do have control over their actions. And so something that some somebody did or said that touched you has way more of a meaning than anything, something impermanent. I think it's really important to not underestimate the power of kind words. It doesn't just change their day, it could change their life. <laughs> you know, I know some of the compliments I get from making these vlogs or some of the depression vlogs or making a pole vault vlog, that's why I'm still doing them. It doesn't take much. I could do a whole vlog on just the power of positive thinking, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll have to do that. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate the call, Sean. I'll look forward to. I got some trips coming up to Minneapolis. We'll have to get together if I don't catch you before. You yeah. Come up here, okay? Anytime. I'll drop whatever I'm doing to make it happen. All right. The big point of today was just to be aware that. Maybe those people who are closest to you, as they do kind things and they're always being nice, you start to get used to it. You start being aware of the things they do that make you upset versus being aware of all the things they do that have a positive impact on your life. So maybe that's the biggest message in today's thing, is just being aware of the amazing people in your life. Felt the need, and like, like you, I was kind of avoiding a lot of this for a long time and I was like why why am I not doing it I think being vulnerable is hard <laughs> but it is yeah it is very hard so I challenge you go out today maybe your spouse your parents relative a co-worker someone who has a huge positive impact on your life and let them know it'll change both your lives I feel very light today <laughs> after doing all that I feel really good you don't have to respond to me back I just felt it was like there's some urge in me you need to get this out into the world and tell you just just got an email back from coach Hasley and it was one of the scariest challenges I've ever done yeah you're awesome man all right see ya life's meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there see you guys tomorrow <laughs> <laughs>